Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to do your own French manicure since I got requested to do this a bunch of times. So for those of you guys that don't know, I do my own French manicure just because um, I chip my nails so quickly that it's not really worth it for me to pay to get it done. And I feel like there's so much better things I can spend like 60 bucks on. So, because where I'm from, manicures cost a lot. I don't know why. Like a manicure pedicure costs like 60 bucks. So first off, you're just going to want to shape your nail however you like. I kind of prefer more of a squared off shape. Um, a lot of people like a more rounded shape, but I kind of like this better. So first off, you're going to want to start with a base coat. I s use Orly's Bonder. Um, I'm not crazy about this base coat. It's okay. I feel like there's better out there. Okay, so I'm going to start with your nail tip. And then you're just going to want to only do this about a third of the way down your nail. You're not really going to want to put this all over your nail because you're just going to get rid of most of it anyways. So I just mainly did it on the tip. I'm going to let it dry real quick. Um, you're going to see that I only do one nail and that's because I don't think you want to watch me paint ten nails because that's probably pretty boring. And so yeah, but if I was really doing this for all myself, what I usually do is I just, you know, keep going down my line of nails and just keep it in that order. So by the time you come around to the same nail, usually the polish is dried enough to do whatever you need to do. Okay, so then you're going to get a white. I use OPI's um, Alpine Snow. And you're just going to brush it off. And then you're just going to brush the tip. Now this doesn't need to be neat. You just want a nice even coat. And you're going to want this to be um, thicker than however you really want your French tip to be. And that's because you're going to clean this up later, so you need it to... Um, be thicker than how you really want it to be. See how it's really like a lot thicker? I'm waiting for it to dry. Um, and by the way, you guys are watching me paint my right hand. I'm actually much better with my, my left hand's actually a lot neater and that's because I'm right handed. Um, so yeah, it's kind of harder to do the hand that you're not dominant on unless you're like ambidextrous in which case you're just too cool for school. But yeah, and so then you're gonna want one coat and then you're going to want to put down another coat. So just pretend like you just did all your nails. So you're just going to want another coat after it's dry. And you're going to want your nail tip to be completely opaque. And that should take about two coats. Um, if this part isn't done neatly, like if it's not really opaque, then it'll look kind of bad when you push it all back too. Okay, so next what you're going to get is your acetone. Um, so what we're going to want to buy is pure acetone. You can get this at any beauty supply store. Um, a lot of drug stores have it too. You can get it like at Target and stuff too, but usually beauty supply stores have a pretty good deal on bottles of it. Basically, this is just the main ingredient in nail polish remover. If you use regular nail polish remover, this probably wouldn't work as well. I just put it in the cap or anywhere you really want to. And then you're going to want a filbert head brush. Um, I just got this from the craft store. It's just a synthetic brush. And you're going to want like a towel or something like that to dab the excess off on. So I'm just using like a piece of tissue. And you're going to want to dab your brush inside the acetone. And then really quickly just touch it to the paper. And that will just get off all the excess. And then you're going to take your brush and use sweeping motions. And what this do, does is it will just melt it all away. Yeah, you're just doing sleeping motions. And then just keep fixing it until it's the shape you like. And see how it just cleans up really nicely? So, just keep fixing it until you like how it looks. And you're going to want to do this when the nail polish is um, not completely dry, but definitely pretty much set. Because if you do it when it's too wet, you'll kind of mess up your nail. And you're going to want the white part to be um, 
your white polish to not be too thick because if it's too thick then it'll look kind of funny. So I'm going to go fix this more. It's going to be kind of out of your view it's just because it's kind of hard for me to see what I'm doing. But yeah, you just kind of do sweeping motions. Um, since this is the hand I'm not dominant on, one way I found to make this kind of easier is I rest my um, hand on top of my other hand and this kind of makes my hand a little bit more steady since like I said I'm not left handed so yeah that's it that's your French tip so there you go and then what I do is I get a pink the pink I like to use is um, I really like Orly's kind of collection they have like a whole collection that's meant just for French manicures and this is in Bear Rose you're just going to want a really light thin layer of this and you're going to want to avoid the white. You're just going to want to fill in the space right here of your nail. So just, I can't, this is so hard to show you guys. Sorry I don't have a tripod that I could just aim down, but I'm trying. So yeah, you're just going to want to kind of like see through shiny pink. There you go. And you're going to want to not go over the white. I don't like how it looks when it's over the white. I like the white part to be super white. I actually did this nail kind of messy, my bad. But it's really hard to film. And it's my least dominant hand. My left hand's a lot better than my right. But yeah. And then you're just going to want to put a top coat on. I use Sish Feet. They're a clear top coat, which is really fast drying. I really, really like it. And then I just really quickly put a top coat on. And that is pretty much it. And that's it. And now you have a French manicure. Let's see. There you go. So you can save yourself lots of money, do it yourself at home. Okay, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.